All right, we're here at PAX East still. We're still here at 2018. Uh, and we're here with Raging Justice and the, uh, the, the, the game maker himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the Nick from, uh, this is being published, is it published or? Published by Team, Team 17. Team 17, gotcha. Yep. And do, what's your, uh, do you have a studio name? Yep, uh, our studio is called Making Games uh, because my name is Nick Making. So we had to oh go Oh my goodness. Games. That's be whatever your, whatever sort of business venture through your whole life, whatever you're going through, you already had the name picked out. I know. Yeah. Well, it could be making well, applesauce. Yeah. Making applesauce. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't very good at making applesauce, so I made games instead. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So, ex pitch the game to us. Okay. I mean, we can see it here too, but. So, Raging Justice is a, a retro inspired, nostalgic side scroll and brawler. It's a, a modern game with some of the sensibilities of what for me was the golden age of gaming, at least the formative years of me as a gamer, which was the kind of late, late 80s, early 90s. The pinnacle of games for me at that time was the side scrolling beat, the brawler. Games like Final Fight, Streets of Rage, Double Dragon, these things, they really kind of took a hold of me as, as I was kind of getting into gaming. And I've always wanted to make a fighter, and you know, Raging Justice is a product of that kind of desire. Yeah. Um, we're trying to cross boundaries <laughs> with it, make it feel like those games from where you remember those games. So nostalgic rather than retro is the way we describe it. So there you go, yeah. Pick up the joy pad, you, you can instantly play, instantly pick up and play. You, just, uh, you discover the moves by pressing buttons, and it's just fun. Yeah, and is this, uh, I just, is this a multiplayer game or is it uh, local multiplayer? At least local. at launch, we've we've always had the the longer term plan of being online. But for something like Switch, it's just such a good fit for the, the couch co-op, for the, you know, get oh, the Switch, yeah. pick it up, tabletop mode, grab two Joy-Cons, and off you go. Can you play with the single Joy-Con then? Oh, each player? Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Definitely. So it's perfect on Switch. And this will be, yeah, like you said, tabletop mode, yeah. going to work on break, and you got your work buddy, and you can play through. I mean, the, one of the great things we've, we've tried to push with this is that pick up and play, that instant fun. You don't, you can be in the game playing, within a couple of minutes and, well, less than that, hopefully, assuming I've got my loading times down. Um, but you don't need to explain it, it's just, you just play it. And it's fun to play again and again. You, know, you just have fun beating these uh, bugs on the, the, the mean streets of Big Smoke so City. This is, this is almost exactly how England streets are, right? Oh, like yeah. you, you basically just, you were just recorded out for 10 minutes and then you just kind of put it on tape. Yeah. The fire hydrants. <laughs> That's amazing, and this game looks absolutely over the top, fantastic. Is that a knife on the ground? Yeah, so please pick that up. Uh, let me think, A. Yeah. A. Press A, you pick the knife up. Oh man, there you go, stab him. Then X or Y. Oh man, this is absolutely wonderful. So, is this level based? I mean, so we've got two modes in the game now. We've got a story mode, which is stages one, one after the other, sequential, number of lives, number of continues, very kind of traditional gameplay. Then we've got a new mode that we've, we've started showing today, which is the brawl mode where it's one life, waves of baddies, and you survive, and they're very hard. High that, is that, there that's a the kind of game that you'll you'll play again and again and again. Retry, 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 yeah. trying to get through. Is a, is a high score too? Is that where? Yeah, we right? got we got ranking with the, the full scoreboards on Switch. We've is got, it online? Uh, yeah, online? The online Switch. War. Very uh, good. It's it's the kind of game that again, if it's inspired by arcade games. One of the things that they had was the leader of the, the kind of the top scores of the day. Yeah. So yeah, it was very yeah. important to have that kind of thing. We've got challenges on each level, so that so you can play it again as a good cop, play it again as a bad cop. Um, That's playing, amazing. Playing either as good cop throughout, if you complete the entire game as good cop, you get a good cop ending. Play it again as a bad cop, you get a bad cop ending. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to have little things for replayability in there, you know? There is a good cop, bad cop. There's a warrant for that prostitute. So, yeah, the, the good cop, bad cop challenges on each level, certain characters will be chosen at random. And when they come on screen, you have to either weapon KO them or arrest them to become the good or bad cop. Oh, nice. The, the bonuses you get out of them change, and as I say, the ending changes. And, you know, it's just one of those things that 
you can play to mix up the gameplay yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But if you're having fun, ignore it. Just beat the... Heck. Yes. <laughs> I just there. I didn't know what, what level of wording to use. That's good. Yeah, heck's fine. Yeah, no, I... Uh, yeah. Beat... Yeah. So, I mean... This game looks fantastic. It's and like I like how you said it's nostalgic over retro, right? Yeah, because well, it doesn't really look like. I mean, it does. To, we want but. it to look great on a, a HD screen, you know. Yeah. Docky switch, 1080p. It's got to look good. Yeah. You know, on the hand on the handheld, it still looks great. I mean, the graphics. We've gone for what is actually quite an old style in the in terms of technology, which is. Inspired by Donkey Kong Country and Colorista. Yes. It's the pre rendered look. It's, um, yes. We haven't quite got the Ashby computer graphics look, as they called it, I think, back in the day. But we've, we're definitely going for that kind of pre rendered artwork. So it's flat artwork. But, I love um, it. I just love anything you can throw a fire hydrant at people at you. <laughs> now, now, when is this game coming out? When's the. Or? So we've just announced the launch date today, and that's May 8th. May 8th? So not Man. very far away. It's like all. a month from almost exactly a month. Yeah. Pretty soon, actually. Yeah. Very fun. And this is eShop. I know it's not physical. No. Well, I, I know that Team 17 has kind of dabbled in that a little. They, I think. they have yeah. dabbled. But we're we're going to kind of test the water with digital. You got to make an arcade cap. I have. Yeah. You have. I you have. made one. I have. Oh, beautiful. My, it was uh, my 40th birthday this year, and I was lucky enough to to be allowed to buy myself an arcade cabinet and I put this in it and we went to a show in the UK with this running in the arcade cabinet. And we had a button for continues, it was it was amazing. Sweet. No you should have just made it so people had to pay for it. <laughs> Make a little extra money. <laughs> That's exciting. Well Thank you, thank you for showing us. Uh, I can't wait to play this when it comes out May 8th next month. Yep. Again, this is an NWR TV. Make sure to check out other PAX videos. And again, thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. <laughs>